So we have a new tool that we're really excited about. Um, it's going to help your database and ebook searching considerably. Um, so how we get to it is we click on the database page link and of course you're going to have to sign in. And here we are. And here we are going to type in, and I'm going to start with Montezuma because we've had lots of students working on the research paper. Now you have some options here. You can look for the author, you can look for the title, or you can look for the keyword. We're going to choose keyword for now. And this brings you to a portal where it has already searched all of the databases in this list. Um, with a couple of exceptions, which I will talk about at the very end of this tutorial. So at this point, you could do a couple of things. Um, but first, I want to show you that we have 81,000 results. So clearly, you need to refine them. And this is where you're going to spend a little bit of time in this section of the um, portal of the search. So you can look for expanders. You can take them on. You can take them off. You're looking right now for full text and what we own. You can change the publication date this way. Um, you can also, and this is important because you're going to be asked to look for academic journals specifically, so you could change this search to academic journals only. You could also change it to academic journals and ebooks, which are two things that we've been asked to look for an awful lot lately. Um, you'll notice that some of these sources, I don't know if you can see it here, are not in English, so you could change the language to English. And we've now gone from 81,000 all the way down to 5,000. If we change this to title, so we're searching for that search term in the title, we end up with even less results. If we change it to subject, we have even fewer. So this is a really great way to use this tool and the databases we searching is we are cross searching is a very very long list. Remember it's also searching for our ebooks in our collection. This is going to be really helpful. I think you will find this wonderful. There are several databases that are not included. Here's the list. There is one thing I want to caution you about. If you are here and you've already done a search, and let's say I change my search here to Philip II, and I do my search, it looks like nothing happened, right? But actually, it, something did happen. It's just that the refreshed searches, the refreshed searches end up back here in this portal. So now I'm looking for Philip II. I've got 630,000. So it's something to be mindful of. You can change your search here, but you have to go back to the same tab to find your refreshed or your renewed searches. So enjoy. I hope you like it. I'm really jazzed about this. I welcome your feedback as always. You can tile, we can text the library at 615-669-6670. Thanks.